Nico B here with a let's play of Gone Home. Now this game, this is a very unique game. It's uh, it's not really a horror game, I don't think, but it's sort of a, I don't know, more like a look into the past, I guess. Um, it's gotten some really great reviews. I've heard nothing but good things about this game, um, and I've been meaning to try it for a while. And so I hope you all will come with me on this journey. I think this is supposed to be in the 90s, so it's very, I don't know, for I think a lot of us it'll be kind of like nostalgic. Let's do this. Use arrow keys to mo walk to use the mouse to look around. Oh my god, what is this? What kind of alien language is this? <laughs> cassette. Oh, tapes. You guys remember cassette players? Oh god, those were the days, weren't they? You took a little pencil out and you roll it up when it, fuck, when it gets all thrown out of... The Fulbright Company presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Although I will say from like the get go, it does it looks like it's like you see a big old abandoned house and gone home. See that hear that uh, movie narrator guy say that. June seventh, nineteen ninety five. One fifteen AM. Holy balls is late. Ooh, nice graphics. I believe this is an indie game by the way, so My name is Caitlin Greenbrier. I come from Portland. Can I have to take my stuff with me? What is this? Pick up cup. Right mouse, or left shift to examine an object to hold. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Can I throw it? Ah! Pick up the chair. Oh, ooh, I can open this. Ah! Christmas duck! <laughs> oh my god, it's Christmas duck! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Nico! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh! What the hell? I still got my price tag on me! Oh! Oh! Christmas duck's sad! Oh! Oh! <laughs> that shows. <laughs> my love is only worth six dollars! Oh god, Christmas duck is so sad! Shut up. Shut up, Christmas duck. Nobody cares what you think anyway. Oh! Here we go. That was lucky, actually. I guess the door was probably locked, and. What does that say? Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it's but it's impossible. Please, please don't go digging around to try to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad, anyone, to know. We will see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. What the? Sam. Where the hell did you go, Sam? Oh. Ooh, we got one of those automatic light light plate houses. <laughs> Sam, why did you leave me? Wait, no. Sam, why did you leave me? It's fine. <laughs> Ooh, soft face. Ooh, it's my favorite brand of tissue. Yeah. Got going. Ooh, what's this? Open folder. Well, spring movers. Terrence Greenbrier. Box's kitchen. Master bed, child bed, whoa. Ah! Shut up, Thunder. Okay, so. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was busy throwing my hand soap around the bathroom. Ugh. All right, now that my hands are clean. Okay, so that was, so Sam is a girl. All right, that's her sister. 
St author magazine, Stephen King. 50 contests with up to $21,000 in prizes. Critiques get published. The blank page. I'll talk 20 authors talk to it. Actually, like... Okay, I wasn't sure if I was that. Can I actually read it? Because that would that would have been bananas. Right, I'm taking my I'm taking my paper towels with me. Wait, is there anything else in here? Ooh, we got um, what's this? Quick fix. Giggity. And a bottle of Vax powder cleanser. Come on, paper towels. Toilet paper, I mean. I actually kind of blocked my vision, so I'm going to have to get rid of you. Jesus. Is there a light in here? Oh. There we go. Ooh, hello. Goodfellow High School. Janice Greenbrier. Who's that? Senior... Senior cons conservationist, forestry service. Ooh, a board game. Over the Alps, a novel traveling game for two to six players. Is this a, this a real thing, dude? Nah, <laughs> we'll play it by myself. I'm just gonna take everything I t get and throw it in the hallway. Can I say I'm so messy? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, brother. Where art thou? Where art thou, paper mache skull head? I'm here. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Regional track and field finals. Girls meter, first place, Jamie Blum Bloom. Carla Jones, Shauna Rossi, Caitlin Greenbrier. Ah, so that's, that's her thing. Sweet. Nice. Regional champ. Damn, Kaylin. Kaylin's got a freaking pro, isn't she? Oh shit, I got stuff in the way, so I can't. That's pretty realistic. It even reacts to stuff that if I get in the way, I can't open it all the way. Man, my parents can be mad at me when they get back, find all their shit is thrown around the house. Like, oh my god, have we been robbed? The Holy Bible. Oh. Here we go. Put you back all nice and safe. That might have helped earlier. Damn! 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 I'm gonna have to freaking break my wind there. I'm gonna go through the ventilation. Ooh, oh, oh. I thought I was gonna be sprinting, not zooming in. Whoa. <laughs> I have I have some really awesome bifocals. It's my family. Ooh. Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. Okay, so that would be Katie up there, I suppose. Yeah. Dude, her dad looks like Tom Selleck. Dude, Tom Selleck and his pouty face. Have you seen... Dude, Tom Selleck, in everything he's in, he has this really funny pouty face he does. Press 2 to check your location in the house. Ooh, wow, we got a, must have a really big house, then. There's one of the, oh, one of the postcards she sent. Okay. Paris. Hi, Mom and Dad. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating La Pizza de Juvenir and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company. This is your my favorite sister of all. Love you all. Katie. Huh. Uh, one Arbor Hill. That's weird. Nah. Oh, whoops. Wait, what does that say? Oh, grab a pack of cards. Okay. Hacker card. Hacker card. Any card. And I promise you, I won't know what card it is. Whoa. <laughs> this pin is making my computer lag. Obituaries. Oscar Dockham's son. That piece was most. He was. Sorry, 1933. He's home of Rusty Tangerine Farms. He was seldom seen outside his house. His five is Neth. Oh, his. His survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier, as well as his, in his spirit, the people of Boone County, to whom he provided wellness and comfort. I see. Cool. That was like his uncle. <gasps> Not uncle whatever your name was. Welcome, new student. 
We hope you have a great year. Uh, oh god, you guys remember this shit. Actually, some of you guys probably still have this. We were sure to bring the following things. A sturdy six binder folder, right? Yeah, one large notebook. At least six pins. A box of color pencils, which we will never use. A standard lot combination for your sign. A nutritious lunch for... Or 250 for the, or the shitty lunch we provide. And a positive attitude. <laughs> she didn't cross that off. So. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Huh. Psycho House Girl, huh? What do we have here? Benjamin Allman, The Killing of JFK Theory. You've seen the movie, Discover the Truth. Important you look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of all time. Whoa. Fuck that. So every time I guess I get a piece of Sam's stuff, I like to talk about her, uh, her oh, oh good, my three ring binder, good, I'm ready for school. I'm wasting so much electricity. Oh, that's not good. That's not coming, that's not coming. Anything in here? No. Crumpled up paper. Huh. Hey, are you the... Oh, it's like a note in passing note in class. Hey, are you the new girl, Sand? I'm Tommy. I'm at the... I'm at the back behind you. Uh, wave if you get this right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. Yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, so I thought I could ask somebody, and if you don't mind, you don't mind, do you? No, I don't mind. What do you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Oh, oh, that is fucked up. Okay, so the uncle. Okay, so the I guess that 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 bitch aware for that uncle guy must be the one who went, went bananas, huh? Storm, storm, watch. Five channel. Severe war weather warning. You are all going to die. Can I change the channel? See to crouch. I used to hide from the demons. Oh, my. Oh, I miss you, VHS. Oh, man. X Files season one. Oh, episodes, dude. Oh my god, I used to do that all the fucking time, dude. I used to be. I learned to work the VCR at the age of like, like two. Cause I used to watch. I used to watch All Dogs Go to Heaven. What does that say? Two thousand one. Two thousand one. The Dark Crystal. Ah! I used to watch. I used to watch all the time. Or all Dogs Go to Heaven. And Home Alone 2. I would fucking watch. I would watch them again and again and again and again. Yeah. I still love those movies too. Wait, oh, it's like a little four, isn't it? Oh, I see. Here we go. Poltergeist book. Hauntings and Poltergeist. Leonardo Rook. Rook. I know the truth behind the stories that were familiar to even our pagan ancestors. Discover how they tell the hoax from genuine hauntings. How to categorize their understanding of the hum. Shut up. Doctor Jitters. Oh, that's my favorite. Mmm. I shake the shit out of that thing. This is a severe weather warning. We are all going to die. Ratmobile. Hobo. Hi, Terry. Clues. Please find a Pioneer something with remote and cables. We need a half, need a half page review for the October issue, so that gives you about two weeks to give us a copy for edits. Standard stuff like gives on the CDL. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Dad's a a writer, maybe like reviews stuff or it's a column or something. Yeah, man, the amount of detail in this is ridiculous. It's awesome. 
Open pizza box. Ah! No! I'm starving. What's this? Making friends, even when you... Even when you... Something. Even when you can't. Sam, thought this might help, Dad. Oh, God. Oh, bummer, dude. Dude, so you're... So she, she's getting shit because her her uncle was a psycho? Dude, that's kind of like a weird thing. An un you're, it's maybe good if you're like a parent, but an uncle? It's like, living lonely. It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry again about having friends. It's been time. This book will teach you how to make friends. Even, oh, even when you're shy. That's what it is. <laughs> you know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Hmm. Gold Star. Terrence L. Greenbrier. Okay, so that's the accidental savior. Ah, I see. So that book of John F. K. was probably as a maybe help him give get some ideas or or some research. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in balance, but who would believe him? Not just another James. Not just another James Bond. We have here. Terry. Hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author every, every, everything now, but my editor and Hi-Fi Aficionado is too much, too much review work to do, to go around. And he's looking for another freelancer. Ah, I see, so he did become a freelancer. This is, oh yeah, this is from a while ago. I should tell you, you're saying in your cast letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work in literature writing and doodly doodly doodly. Sit at home with a glass of scotch and some records and write up how it sounds. Then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to use examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor. He didn't tell you. He didn't tell him your old college chum, Mike, sent you. He's here's the address. Do it. <laughs> Do it now, Mike. I mean Terry. Terry Bradshaw. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. What's this one? Girl Scout role model. Is that a cassette player? What is? Oh yeah, baby, this is my jam. I gotta shut this thing. Shut up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Mm. I didn't like it. Ah. Mm. 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 Yeah. Girl Scout. <laughs> oh, do TV listings? Oh, man. We don't use these anymore. You never use, like, the TV guide. I remember we used to always get out the TV guide and, like, go and highlight all the good shows that were going to come on. We didn't forget to watch them. Oh, my God. Oh, God, that was bad. That was bad. Okay. Jesus, what room is this one? The music room. You got a music room? That's awesome. The David Bru the Dave Brubeck Quartet. Reassign reproductive system worksheet. The menstrual cycle. Oh, Lord. I am produced in the testicles. I go from vas deferens to the urethra. The life of a sperm cell. I, I go through the cervix and the uterus into the fallothian tubes in search of an egg cell. <laughs> if I can find the ovum before the other sperm do, I'll be the winner. Part of the fertilized egg. Oh, that's good. 
Oh lord, the early morning of SA, but dude, oh my lord. There's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> Wait, oh god, now I gotta, I, let me at least read the end here. SA vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish re resistance on a daring spy saboteur. Wait, I'm sorry. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries, and the process begins again. It's incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. <laughs> ah, it's awesome. The menstrual cycle, a novella. You want a soda? World history. Oh, dude, I love it. It has that generic... That generic look about it. It's perfect. That's what all history books look like. It's just like some random thing. It's like, here's a picture of a statue or... So, soda. World history. Oh, dude, I love it. It has that generic... That generic look about it. It's perfect. That's what all history books look like. It's just like some random thing. It's like, here's a picture of a statue or... Give me some scotch. Oh, I have made some scotch. Look it up. There we go. Can I pour myself a glass? That would be awesome. Give me a bow. <laughs> Damn it. Now look what I've done. What? Daddy! Dear Mr. Green Barrel, inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish or follow up the acts of the pariah. Despite the low sales of the accidental saver, we went ahead with the publication of the second book in hopes of this John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, our so our stewardship of the series must end. It's been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in our future endeavors. Oh, bummer, dude. Damn. Oh, that's the second one. The accidental pariah. I guess it didn't catch on. Message from our future, save the president's life once. Within the next 24 hours, there'll be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down! This dad's sort of a... Her dad's a bit of a... Failed writer. Poor dude. Sorry, bro. What we got here? Viska vodka. Simple as steel. Product of Russia. Russian space. Oh, wow. There's all of those unused books. And this one's uh, in his first book, too. Jesus. There we go. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave my, him my, gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, Street Fighter is awesome. You just you don't understand, Mom. <laughs> Let Samantha know that she's welcome back to our house to visit age. Excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. <laughs> Maybe I'll give him a call. Got a gamer girl. Oh. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing, Sam. What'd she do, like... So she, the, she like, run away from home? S steal a bunch of stuff? Oh, here we go. Hi Lonnie, so if you want to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive, it's kind of far, but I can drive you home to too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after. After six. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm gonna have a totally kick your butt. Get ready. Oh, yeah. Hadoken! That's right. Hadoken! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. 
At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Fresh. True, <laughs> True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. Tell us about their, their worst moments. 90210, does anyone still care? <laughs> no. No one cared, no one cared but back when it was out. Sarah Moss. Stranger under my roof. The number one best-selling advice for parents of teens. <laughs> you just don't understand me, mom and dad. I see. Ten years of front with the change of typers and fraud with the eyeball. Her teenage boy is going to murder everyone. Run while you still can. Run. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting in the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from edit an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it. There's no, not mine to cut back to it. It was coming. This is from last year, apparently. It was coming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usual copy without heavy root whites. The reader of home theater aficionado wants to hear about the quality and the value of hardware, not the ruminations of your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd be cutting you loose. There's a ton of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could j actually use. David's known you for a long time. He's the boss, so I give you what. I'll just give you one more shot on on a say so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Looking through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everyone will be happy. Oh man, he's not having a... He's having a hard time, isn't he? Everyone's having trouble. I haven't really read anything about the mom yet, but... My glass of gin. Oh! Secret compartment. That's awesome. Aaron Screenbrier. Whoa, what is, what is this? 1972, this is for a long time. Dear Terrence, I ride on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News seems. News. News searches. Searches? Re oh, reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have found I have had more than a little time to consider my past and my family and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the 10 years since we last met your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard you are always welcome on this place I will understand if you find you can't accept this invitation Yours very sincerely, Oscar. Oscar Mason. Okay, so that's the guy that that was the that's the uncle. So that's okay. So it's his his uncle that was considered bananas, I suppose. There's a lot of crumpled up papers here. Got no soap inside, and saw what the stars twinkling as they were lying on the grass in the stone of home. This is a long way, but the future needed. <laughs> this is a long way from home, but the future needed him. Ronald's head swam, he felt incredibly drunk. He stared for a moment, blah, 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 processing his fleckered stained flesh nails and <laughs> bare scanning up his bare shins. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde wearing a tight poly, <laughs> poly polymer fiber tunic. The fabric then strained it. Seems to c contain her generous bosom was ablaze with the phrase matter transference operator. Twin he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages had passed before. <laughs> but now, but now, and man, they need now more than do da de boodle <laughs> They're still from the bridge of the starship Archimedes, commanded the vessel. Was he getting drunker and drunker as he went on his way? There's only he who had saved the pre predistance <laughs> predestinate's life twice before could helm the Nev crew to their destiny, the fate of the gap. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, dude, your dad sounds just fantastic. Okay, 
Well, I think I'm going to end it here for now, guys. Let me know if you guys want me to continue this. Um, you know, it's it's sort of like this. It's, it, you sort of explore, try to understand what's sort of been going on. Um, let me know if you want to see more. I think it's I think it's really cool. It's very engaging. There's, I, the amount of detail and everything is amazing. So, anyway, like for if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now and hop aboard the SLP. The days are always sunny and the days are always funny. And until next time, guys, stay 90s. <laughs>